Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in figuring out how you can know if a man is really single or available, well, stick around because I'm going to be revealing what's required on your part to find that out on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you how to find out if a man, a guy, a dude is really single or available for that matter. Here's how this came about. Uh, someone asked me the question recently. They were basically figuring, saying, uh, I connect with guys online and for the most part, guys who are online, for the most part, some guys lie, are single looking for someone. But when I go outside, if I don't want to do something online, and I go outside and I'm about to smile at someone, flirt at someone, create a connection with someone, how on earth should I do it? I mean, what if the guy's single? What if the guy's married? What if the guy, uh, and, and I just don't know about it. So obviously, you know, you can look into a guy's ring and if he has a ring, well, you can stay away. But many guys this day and age, many women too sometimes don't wear a ring and they're still married and they're, or, or they're engaged, for example, they don't have the ring yet because they haven't been married, but they're with someone, and you have no idea if that guy's single, right? So here's the first thing, I'm gonna give you like four simple ways to do this, but here's the first thing that I'll say with you. The first thing I'll say to you is there is no substitution for doing the work. If you want to create a powerful relationship with a man, and you want to not just rely on online, stuff to be able to create it and you it's i highly encourage you to do this go out into the world and create connections with men you have to do the work which means you will connect with men who are married and don't have a ring and you'll find that out when you do the work the work is asking questions the work is creating connections the work is seeing how he interacts with you i mean there's a few things you need to do but there, i guess what i'm saying is there's no x-ray machine that sold in the market that allows you to wear those lenses and see who's available and see who's single. Uh, you can't. You have to get your hands dirty, so to speak, and, and create connections. That's the first thing I'll say. So no substitution for doing the work. If you're not willing to do the work, it's a small price to pay, I think, to be able to create the connection you want. If you're not willing to face the, I connected with this guy, we're having this conversation, and then I found out he's married. If you can't face that, then you're not gonna get what you want at least in the organic way. Second thing I'll say is, you ask better questions. Just learn the art of asking better questions. If you figure out that you're creating connection with a guy and then the flirting starts and he starts connecting with you and, and, and he, he starts uh, flirting heavily with you, you want to find out if the guy is available or not. So you ask him more questions about himself, his life, what is about, what is, yeah, you can say, hey, so are you with someone? Did you come here with someone? Uh, are you in a relationship? You can definitely ask if you're in a relationship. And the guy will, if he's a liar, of course, he can still lie about it. But if a guy's presented with a question, so are you, t talk to me about it. Are you in a relationship? What are you, I mean, you can, that's an easy question to ask that any guy should be able to answer. You say, no, I'm single. Great, go forward. No, I'm actually married or I have a girlfriend and he's still flirting with you heavily. Then that's a big warning sign, right? So I know what some of you are going to say. Well, the guy, can, the guy can lie. Of course he can lie. But there's going to be a lot of guys who may be caught off guard by that question and end up saying, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm with someone or I'm married. And they wouldn't have had you not asked the question. So be willing to ask the uncomfortable question, especially if there's chemistry and you feel that the guy is heavily uh, going uh, for the kill, right? In terms of pursuing you in that moment and uh, uh, flirting with you. Now, something else you do is like, let's say that you don't find that out uh, and, uh, and you start seeing this guy, right? You watch his actions. The next thing after questions is actions, right? Guys who are in a relationship, guys who are dating multiple people, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, but guys who are, guys who are in a relationship typically will do things differently. There, there's gonna be weird warning signals. He'll say that he'll meet you sometime and then he won't show up, or you'll see him nervously looking at his phone, or he'll just act weird sometimes. So you, you just have to check, you just have to watch his actions and to understand if the thing that he's stating is, is matching in reality, right? Do not be afraid to, when you see a warning sign, follow it through, which leads me to my third point, intuition. You can ask all the questions in the world and they may match. You can see the actions that match, but the intuition piece is something that cannot be avoided. There's a part of you, there's a sixth sense you can have that 
will tell you if something feels off and you need to listen to it. Now, it doesn't mean that it's always right, but it also doesn't mean that you just get to ignore it. Most women that I've had the blessing of helping who at some point recognize, you know what, this guy that I'm with is with somebody else or he has a family or whatever, they felt something and they just didn't follow through with their intuition. They never asked the question. They never said, well, this two and two should equal four and it's equaling five. Tell me why that is. They never did that to their guy. So uh, in terms of asking deeper questions when they felt something off, right? You don't accuse someone, but you also don't just stay uh, feeling like something's off and don't say it. So here it is. Just to recap again, if you want to create a powerful connection, do not want to rely on online dating apps and websites exclusively, there's nothing better than going outside and creating connections. There is absolutely no fail-proof way that you can find out if a guy is single or not. There's not even a shortcut other than the ring, which for the most part, many guys won't wear. So you have to be willing to get uncomfortable. You have to be willing to invest time. You have to be willing to ask questions that are maybe tougher than the ones you usually ask. And you have to be willing to get disappointed as well. You, uh, the next step is you ask the right questions, follow his actions, and trust your intuition. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If you find that it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video, my video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up show up that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff, and it's absolutely free. Uh, if you have any questions for me, place them on a comment below on this video and I'll be happy to reply uh, personally. <laughs> have an amazing day and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.